and welcome to the year 1989. Now, as you might know, I have kind of a fixation to play very old racing sims with modern equipment, just to see how they perform. And it doesn't get much older than this. This is, of course, Indianapolis 500, the simulation by Papyrus. Now, for this game, Papyrus put an unprecedented amount of effort into the physics, uh, going for the full 100% hardcore simulator experience. And then everybody played with, with keyboards or digital joysticks or something, because, well, there were no steering wheels for computers. Uh, so, how does a sim that's been created before racing wheels drive with a racing wheel? Well, the first surprise with this was that I actually got it to work with my wheel. Uh, the second surprise was that it's absolutely brilliant. Now, seriously, if you've ever played this with a keyboard or a mouse or a joystick or something, you've only gotten a faint idea of the physics in the game. With a wheel, you really feel the weight transfer, the suspension, understeer, oversteer. Uh, the depth of the physics model is mind-boggling for a sim from the 80s. And it's actually a lot easier to drive with a wheel uh, than with a keyboard because uh, the controls are more finesse and the car actually drives exactly as it should. Now, today we'll do a short race with my Trustmaster. Uh, if you want to try it yourself, check out the video description and you'll find instructions of how I got it to work. Now, if you have different equipment, you might have to experiment with, with, the, with the settings. Uh, the wheel itself works perfectly, but the pedals don't. Now, I am using the pedals, but they're mapped uh, to replace keyboard keys. So they are on-off controls, uh, although it doesn't matter a lot since you'll just be running with your foot down most of the time. So yeah, let's try it out! And here we are in the game. Now let's start by choosing a team. Now here are the choices. If you're familiar with the game, you know everything about the teams. Uh, Mark by default is the slowest car, I think, and the Penske is the fastest car, but you can make any of this car a winning car by setting it up right. We're going to choose the, the default team. Uh, also, I have set the car up a little bit, so let's load a car setting. There we are, and let's go to the practice. And I'll just show, show you what I've done to the car. Nothing too much. I've just uh, adjusted the wings and and what else? Haven't touched the rubber. Haven't touched the staggers. Not haven't touched the pressures. Nor these. Nor these. Uh, the gears I have uh, set up so that they uh, work with our wing settings. So that's pretty much everything I've done to the car. Oh, and I took some fuel off. So that's it. Uh, we're ready to go to the qualifying, I think. We don't need to practice. Uh, so, yeah. Car should, car should be pretty competitive now. Let's go. Oops. Hit the wheel cam a little bit, sorry about that. But here we are, playing Indianapolis 500. A game from the 80s with a modern racing wheel. And it's... It's pretty cool, I have to say. It's oops, don't hit the wall. There's a there's a little dead zone uh, in the wheel that that I should get rid of. But other than that, it's it's pretty much perfect to drive. And here comes the first lap. Of course, in qualifying, you drive four laps, and your starting position will be determined by the average speed of those four laps. And uh, that was a very nice lap time. I'm happy with that. Let's go for the second lap. Running with slightly high revs here. The oil temperature uh, temperature light is, is blinking a little bit, but let's not worry about that. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. We're we're 
only going to do a short race. Okay, missed the entry of the corner. Car got a little bit loose, but we're fine. The second lap. Yeah, the dead zone sucks a little bit, but you can get rid of rid of it if you fine tune it a little bit. That was an okay-ish lap. Two laps to go. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit. Don't want to mess this up. You can cut the final corner quite a bit, but I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm trying to play this a bit realistically. Oh, that was a brilliant lap. Very happy with that. And this is the final lap of our qualifying run. We have the f white flag. Oops. Don't hit the wall. Final corners. And interesting to see where we end up. Alright. It's been a solid lap. And we are lucky number 13. So yeah, that's a that's a decent decent starting position. Uh, especially uh, when I uh, actually didn't didn't set up the car too much, so didn't put a lot of effort to that. So I'm happy with the qualifying run. Let's go to the race. Okay, and we're ready to race, and the race starts immediately when you hit the race in the menu. So we have to be ready. Let's put our food down. And 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, <coughs> we have to choose a race. Well, 10 laps. That'll be that'll be nice. It would be fun to do a 200 laps, a full 500 mile race. But this time I, I think we'll stick to this. So here we are, the race has already started, so let's be careful and concentrate the best we can. And, oops, careful. Now, you have to remember, we dropped down a couple of spots, but that's alright. You have to rem remember this game is from the 80s and the AI is not the best. They are very very vicious and they want to kill you. So have to be very careful with them. And they are alright to race but when you hit the back markers is when the problems often start. And you shouldn't o try to overtake anyone mid corner is what I have learned because they just run into you do the overtrade oh overtaking on straight line that uh, was a bit scary almost, almost went to the grass and we're back where we started 13th let's see if we can get a top 10 finish now there's Someone who seems to be a lot faster behind us. Careful now. He's a lot faster in corners, which is kind of surprising. Pretty much keeping my foot down constantly. As I said, uh, I didn't get the pedals. Uh, to work as they should, so they are digital. So you're either on full throttle or no throttle at all. Oops! 
Now in real race that would have been a retirement. But there's no, no damage in this 10 lap race, so... <coughs> uh, that is the only reason why this survived. Okay, this guy seems to be slow. We got by, now we're 14th. Race pace doesn't seem to be all that great. But yeah, it's it's unbelievable how, how much depth there is in, in the in the physics engine because you can really feel the the, the car the, the suspension uh, oversteer understeer everything and of course no force feedback or nothing nothing like that uh, it's 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 a remarkable a remarkable thing indeed. And, and the weight transfer works exactly as it should, like if I lift then the weight transfers to the front of the car and you lose uh, grip from the rear tires. So often the best way to regain the grip is go back to the throttle and the weight transfers back to the rear tires and you can recover. And I, I've always known that the Papyrus games do it very well. But I didn't know that they did it well already in this game from 1989. That's very, very impressive. Now we are gaining on this orange car a little bit. Perhaps we can gain a position. That would be very nice. We're still 14th. I think there was someone in the pits. I heard an engine noise. And that's right, you can actually hear the, the engine noises of, of, of other cars, which is <laughs> also pretty cool. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Okay, and I think we're hitting lap traffic now, and it's time to be scared. Let's see if we can overtake this guy. It was a bit risky, but we survived. I was hoping for a top 10 finish, but at the moment it doesn't seem to be happening. Oh dear, this is very risky. And someone is dead. Sorry, everybody. This guy is a lapped car. And what an <laughs> what a save! What an unbelievable save! Ah, uh, though, uh, pure skills by Dead Meat. Another lapped car, and these guys are so annoying. To the pass. Uh, there are no full course yellows in the in the short in the short race. So now I think there is someone crashed in front of us, and we have to kind of be careful not to hit him because they they haven't probably removed the wreckage. There he was. We're fine. A couple of lapped cars. All sorts of lights blinking on the dashboard, but we should be fine, we should be fine, should be plenty enough fuel. And some more lapped, lapped cars, careful now. There we go. Not a completely clean race, but we survived because there's no damage. Uh, 
And it seems that we're going to finish 14th. So, hooray! Here we go. Cross the finish line, and 14th we are. Well, uh, that was a race. Of course, in the in the uh, longer races, there are uh, there's there's damage. If you hit the wall, you might lose a tire. If you cra crash, you might lose your engine. And it's all very realistic, so you can't always recover from the damage in the pits. So, uh, if you're doing a 200 lap race, you better be. Oops, sorry. That was unfortunate. Come on. You're going somewhere? Apparently not. I don't have a reverse gear. Excuse me, coming through. So yeah, if you're doing a full 200 lap race, you 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 better be careful. <laughs> but yeah, this was IndyCar. No, not IndyCar racing. Indianapolis 500 by Papyrus. Let's see where's our pit stall. People are uh, driving very fast in the pits. Oh, there it is. Hello. I'm back. Yeah, this was the race. Uh, I'm playing with the idea of some someday doing a stream with uh, with with the full 200 lap race. Uh, we'll see. I, I'll have to practice quite a bit, otherwise there's no hope for me to survive. But anyway, it's it, it was a lot of fun to drive, and as I said before, if you want to try uh, play yourself. Uh, try yourself. Uh, check out the link in the video description, and you'll find the instructions of, on how to how I got it to work with with DOSBox and my Trustmaster wheel. But thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye bye.